Good day to you people of the interwebs and welcome to this week's edition of Transformer of the Week. Well, I'm going to be looking at this guy. This is Takara Legends or LG20 Skids. Uh, Takara have finally got around to releasing Skids in their generation line and he is beautiful. I mean just check out this alt mode. It's a lot, um, I don't have, just for the record, just starting off, I don't have the Hasbro version of Skids so I don't really have anything to compare it against other than pictures I've seen and reviews that I've seen. But um, the blue is much darker, it's much more reminiscent of the, the toy to me personally than the um, what I've seen from the photos of the Hasbro skids. And then it's just this paint, this, the plastic as well is quite shiny, look at that. You can see just the shine coming off of that, it's just absolutely beautiful. Look at these black tinted windows. And the paint, oh my god, the paint on this guy. <sighs> Just from the lights, to this pink decals, to the red, to the you know, wheel trims, to this racing stripe. It's just so crisp. It's just really just lovely and just crisp. I'm, mm, just I really enjoy it. And it's just faultless. I mean, if you look at the lights... You know, this yellow. Yellow's always quite a hard colour to do because, you know, often they just don't put enough coats of yellow on, so it just ends up just being that, that little bit of like greenish tint to it. But here, it looks like they have put an undercoat on first before painting the yellow on. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> you know how to paint figures, Takara. You just know how to do it. I mean, it's the same factories. That's, 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 that's the thing. That's, ah. Uh, the same factory's making these guys. <laughs> but yeah, we'll just go the extra mile when we're doing it, you know, for our Takara Taka Taka series. That, you know, it's a pri price point change, really, and um, profits and losses, and that, that's a horrible thing that, you know, compromises you have to make when, you know, making toys. But yeah, it's just oh, absolutely gorgeous. Comes with two accessories. Uh, it comes with his nudge gun and a laser rifle. Um, yeah, so they could just plug in. I think that for me, it's this is where Takara falls down a little bit. It's just paint your weapons, Takara. You know, give us as much love to the guns as you do to the figures. I'd like to have just a bit more metallic on there rather than just being grey plastic. You know, maybe a you know a, a, an ink wash. I don't know if it's asking too much, but I just like you paint your weapons. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's kids. He's a transformer. He does roll really well. Well, that's not what we're here for. He transforms. Um, he transforms exactly the same, I imagine, as Takara uh, the Hasbro skids and Hasbro Crosscut. So we just flip these out here. I mean, what you can do while it's in car mode is you, if you just get into this stage here, flip that windscreen up, and then put it all back together. And you can have some kind of battle mode with his uh, guns coming out, pew, 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 shoot things, Decepticons from the air. But you know, that's not official in any way. That's just some silly mid transformation step. So, fold that bit back there, bring that up. Bring these down, clip these weapons back in place, bring that, and this is all kind of backpack here, you just got to just do with it as you will. Uh, pull these legs down, like so, flick his legs back, get these bits, from the wheels from the side, bring them down, make his feet. Swing him round. That way, I believe. Okay. Now. His arms. You kind of just have to pull those out. The main body of the vehicle. Then you get take this opportunity to swing waist round. Bring that up there. Let's see which way this goes. Flip his head round, 
and kind of just find the place that that clicks in. And there you have it. There is Skids in his robot mode. And it's just excellent. It is just really, really beautiful. I mean, the sculpt on this. If you're a fan of the IDW comics, then this head sculpt is bob on. It's like it's um, coming straight out of the uh, page. Just really is. It's just absolutely really nicely colourful, characterful even. Yeah, and again, the paint really crisp. The use of different coloured plastics just to you know add that up. The, you know the the reds on the the reds on the feet and the, and the pink lines. The it's just uh, you know the reds on his hands. It's just an absolutely really gorgeous, gorgeous. Bigger. Again, it's just excellent. It really is. I mean, where this figure falls down, both figuratively and literally, are the legs. I mean, you've got this big jutting out bit here, which for no reasons. And then you've got some of the biggest clown shoes I have ever seen. And now, You'd think, having feet this big, that he'd stand up like a boss. But no, I mean, you could just see that the centre of the gravity on this toy is just... Yeah, it's... Uh, and but these feet just stick out here, and it's like... Where he, need, where he has long feet, he needed heel spurs. Oh, which is a shame, because he's just so... He's got, you know, a nice bit of movement in the shoulders there. He's got absolutely... You know, he's got a ball joint elbow... You know, got a head on a ball joint. He's got a waist swivel. He's got you know ball jointed legs, five swivels, a really tight knee joint, and you know a ball joint on the foot. But he just doesn't have them that much maneuverability, and it just doesn't quite work, which is a shame because everything else is a figure. I mean, you can get him to make some poses, but um, generally, you know, the very you know static wide legged poses that he makes when you're always on that little verge of teetering somewhere whereas really if he was got that much dynamic movement in his legs and he's got that you know like I said these really heavy ratchets in his knees he should on paper this guy should be one of you know your best poses around but it's just that centre of gravity has just messed him up with his feet and it's a shame but, don't let that put you off getting this figure. Would I recommend it? I would. Let's just talk another feature. He does have his guns. About. Let's put his guns together here. So he can have his nudge gun. There's also a hole in the back of his laser rifle. So he can make one big gun. We like big guns on Transform of the Week, do we not? And then, these flip out. And then... On his shoulder pauldrons, there's a little bit of give here that you flip round. Bang! Got racks and missiles. Skids is for a theotician. Theotician is a theorist, but he's also heavily armed. And we know, you know, this is part of his covert training in the comic books. This is why he's so heavily armed. And then you kind of come back here and there's some kind of release for these guns. Yep. So then his shoulder guns can release and flip out there. So he's just absolutely gunned up. So yeah, don't let just that man niggle with his feet put you off getting this figure because he's absolutely gorgeous a lot of fun and there is that they have at the moment they've been putting these little figure stand uh, holes 
in there. So if you were, did want to put some more down, down exposes, get yourself some kind of base, bigger standing base, and then you can put him into all kinds of like crazy flying positions with, you know, guns are blazing. But yeah, that's what I'd say. That's why he's my transformer week. He is absolutely beautiful. Just the and remember, guys, it's okay to have a figure with hot pink on it. There you go. Thanks for watching. And if you didn't enjoy watching, get me a nudge gun. Pew! You remember nothing. <laughs> Such a nerd. Yeah, that's been LG20 Skids. I've been Bisto Yeti. This has been Transformer of the Week. Until the next time, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. And because you deserve it, come on closer. Fisto! Fisto!